Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've launched your Google Ads, but the budget remains untouched despite your campaign being up and running? What is going on? Well, Google turned over around $224 billion in 2022 from Google ad spend alone. So they definitely are happy to take the money. But there are a few reasons why your Google ad campaign is not spending. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what they are and more importantly, how to fix them. So if you have a daily budget of 50 or 100 pound a day and Google is only spending a fraction of that, then this video will show you why. If you don't know who I am or what we do, I'm Kirk from OneBase Media and we've helped hundreds of tradespeople get better quality leads, fill up their diary and grow their business with more profitable jobs. So let's get right into it. Problem number one, your target CPA is set too low. If you're wondering what target CPA is, this stands for cost per acquisition. This is where you hand over the bidding range to Google and you set the bid in to say, give me leads at this cost. It can work great. But if you set it too low, Google will not spend the budget properly. Setting an unrealistically low target CPA can hinder your campaign's performance and prevent Google from using your allocated budget. When you set your target CPA lower than the average cost per acquisition in your industry, Google faces a challenge. If the industry standard for acquiring a customer, let's say costs around 25 pounds, but you've set your target CPA at 10 pounds, Google will struggle to find enough quality leads within that constrained budget. Think that there's like a power struggle. If you're running a campaign for roofing services and the typical cost per acquiring a lead in your area stands at 30 pounds and you've set your target CPA at 15 pounds, Google may think, I can't get you that high quality lead within that budget and it will hold back your ad spend. So here's the fix and you've got more than one option. First, consider adjusting your target CPA. Increase it by a few pounds to align more closely with the industry average. It's like giving your campaign a little more breathing room to attract those quality leads without compromising on budget. Alternatively, switch your budding over to maximize clicks and let it run for a week. And then when you start getting leads, look at the cost per conversion and then base your CPA bidding based on that. We do like using the target CPA bidding strategy, but only after we've collected a lot of data. Problem number two, low search volume keywords. Another common issue we see that causes Google to not spend the budget is when keywords have been chosen to have little to no search volume. And worse, when these keywords are being put in campaign using the exact match keyword strategy. This might seem like a good thing to do because the keywords are exactly what you want to get found for, but it will kill the campaign overall. Trust us. So let's say you're a plumber and you want to get found for keywords like burst pipe water damage or broken water pipe. Now on the surface, these might seem like very relevant keywords, but the search volume is far too low. Consider using phrase match keywords instead and using keywords like burst water pipes or burst pipe. This will show your ads for far more keywords and then you can start collecting data by going to the keywords that are triggering your ads. After that, start putting in negative keywords on a weekly basis. With a new campaign, we're checking the negative keywords daily. By using high search keywords and switching them over from exact match to phrase match or even broad match, you'll collect way more data, get a lot more clicks and have the information you need to start optimizing your campaign to get more leads. Also, add more keywords. Aim for 25 to 50 or even more keywords on your ads to maximize search volume and reach. This way your ad gets in front of more eyes, increasing clicks and ensuring your budget is put to good use. Problem number three, low quality score. One more reason is low quality score. Your ads quality score is a measure of how relevant and useful your ads and landing pages are to the user's search query. So the higher your quality score, the more likely your ad is to be shown and clicked on. It also reduces your cost per click. If your quality score isn't up to par, Google will just sweep your ad under the rug. It's kind of like a popularity contest for ads. So the more relevant and useful your ad is, the more popular it will be with Google. The reason for this is simple. If Google was showing ads and they were going to irrelevant landing pages, this would reduce the quality of the user experience on Google and people would slowly stop using the platform. So Google only want to show the best ads with the best landing pages. Your quality score is measured from zero to 10. You can see it when you go onto your search keywords. Now we find anything under five will have an impact on your ads. So always aim for a score higher than this. We find a score between five to eight works great. And of course, if you can get to 10, even better. But if you have a ton of ads and all the quality score is between one and five, you will find you'll spend more budget and get less leads. And that's why it's really important to work on the quality score. One way to do this is to look through all your ad copy and consider whether or not it's making people want to click through. Ask yourself, are there offers, 
calls to action, and clear reasons for the customer to want to use your services. If you're stuck for ideas, start by searching for your service in your local area and see what your competitors are putting on their ads and then make yours a lot better. Secondly, look at your landing page. Is it very relevant to your ads? We like to include a lot of the same text that's on the ad copy and use it on the landing page. This shows Google the ad copy is very relevant to the landing page and it will score the ads higher. We really can't stress the importance of quality score enough and how much of an impact this will have on your ads. And there you have it. If you make those changes, Google will start spending the ad budget and you'll start getting more local leads. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill up your diary with more customers and of course, grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I want to say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section telling us about your Google ad experiences. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.